Hey guys, it's Dan here from Parter Pro, and today we're going to be giving you a look at Foresight's FSX Pro software. While it is available in either a studio version for PC or an iOS version for iPad, today we're going to be focusing on the iOS version as some of the recent updates include improved Wi-Fi connectivity, updated 3D driving range, new bounce and roll physics, as well as graphical enhancements. So the FSX Pro is a really great tool for instructors, club fitters, or if you're just a player looking to really fine tune your game. As you can see, we've laid down a few base shots, so we have some data to display and we can generate a report. So let's jump into it. Um, on the left hand side here, you can see that we've got all of our shot, uh, shots displayed and uh, laid out for you here. Now you can add tags. Here we've added uh, an APT2 Titleist 7-iron and a Mizuno MP4 so we can kind of do a comparison between the two clubs as well You can change uh, the data parameters. So here we've got uh, yards, but we can put club speed ball speed whatever we want um, On the bottom we can do kind of the same thing. You can see that you can go through all of your data Parameters and select which ones you want to display so you can really focus on what you want to work on um, And you do that just by clicking the little gear down in the bottom right corner uh, you do also have tutorial videos throughout this uh, software. If you do need help, it will link you to a video on Foresight's uh, website. So here we're going to kind of cycle through some of the views and show you the different uh, variety of views that you do have. So of course you've got your standard driving range. Um, you've got flight views so you can go in, you can change top flight view, side view, or you can do both. You can also add in a variety of different data. Here we're gonna go into your table. So you can see we've got the two different clubs listed here. And again, this is fully customizable. You can put whatever data points you want in there and kind of arrange it in the way that uh, best suits your needs at the time. Here you can see a variety of different uh, parameters that you can add in just by clicking on the right hand side. Finally, we'll go into the club view here. And again, it's the same thing. You can kind of add or subtract as much data as you want. So if you really want to focus on certain things such as your club path or spin axes, you can do that. Uh, you can add in uh, what you need to really see what you're working on at the time. So we'll go back to the driving range view here. Again, kind of cycle through some of the different views that we have just by hitting that little drone on the right hand side. It'll give you side view so you can really see the apex uh, or you can just see the uh, down the line view. Uh, you can cycle through all the shots just by clicking them on the left hand side. It will also bring up all of your data correlated to that particular shot at the bottom. Um, here you can see it's distinguished a red and green for the two different clubs that we're testing out So you can really kind of go through shot by shot club by club and really see what you're doing and get all that data at any given time It's all in real time uh, as you're hitting them and then you can go back and take a look So here we're going to show you the types of reports you can build um, We've got gapping analysis just a general summary ball flight club delivery club compare and a full detailed report. So each report will kind of give you different metrics to focus on based on what you're doing. We're just gonna do a, a, a full detailed report here. Um, if you're an instructor, you can add in some notes about the sessions or just your own uh, notes and it's gonna generate the report. So here we've got a report. It gives you a table of contents kind of showing you what's included. We can cycle through it. You've got session summaries, which is gonna give you your averages of your shots, uh, your club information, your iron range information for each individual club. So lots of great information. And again, these reports can be uh, customized to suit uh, your needs specifically. Uh, they can be delivered in a variety of different ways. At the top, you can see there, we've got a print function, we've got a PDF, so you can send it to PDF and email it, or you can put it into an Excel table. Here we've got all of our shots overlaid. You can see they're color coded based on the clubs that we are using. Um, we just took a couple of different shots, so they are kind of all over the place, but it will give you your dispersion. You can go shot by shot. You can add them all in at once. So a lot of different options there. Just to cycle through the different views and kind of give you an idea of what you can look at here. We're cycling through the individual shots. And again, you do have access to all this information on your generated report. You can add in different grids. You can have different views to see 
direction of the shot, how far off center line you were. You can add as much of the view as you want. You can take it all away and have nothing. You can add in your grids. Uh, you can go from a side view that's really going to show you your apex and kind of the shape of your shot from a side view angle. You can do the same from a top view angle as well. So that's pretty much it for a quick overview of FSX Pro software. If you guys have any questions or want to find out more about this or anything else, you can visit us at www.partofpro.com. And thanks for watching.